This week also marks the opening of Blacks, that's B-L-K-S, at the Calderwood Pavilion at the Boston Center for the Arts. Written by poet, performer, and playwright Aziza Barnes, Blacks explores the lives of three 20-something black women trying to find intimacy and purpose in a city that just doesn't seem to care about them. And joining us now are two of the show's stars, Chanel Chloe Villegas, who plays Octavia, and Tamika Marie Bridwell, who plays June. Thank you both for joining us. How are you doing today? Thank you. Um, doing great. So tell us more about this story and why you were both drawn to be a part of it. I'll start with you. Um, so I'd say that the story is about um, like these three 20-something year old friends trying to, they're kind of riding a line between pleasure and, play, and pain. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes they are trying to numb their pain by seeking pleasures. Sometimes they're trying to seek pleasure and it's painful. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like what drawn me to the story was honestly just the script. Mm -hmm. When I got the script, I read it like seven times in a row mm -hmm. um, because of the language. I felt like it spoke true to who I am mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. um, and I am queer and the person I play is also queer and so mm -hmm. I really felt like I was seeing me on the page. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Tamika, tell us what drew you to it. Um, I would definitely agree with Chanel, the script. Uh, definitely, I saw myself in the script. The language was just plain. I've done Shakespeare and it's all different types of theater, but this language is the language that I talk to my girls in. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that was just really what was exciting for me to be able to see somebody or a character that really reflects who I see, think myself to be mm -hmm. and also what I see from my girlfriends. Well, throughout this is, is what's described as, as black joy. What's it like for the two of you to present um, a f female black joy on stage? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's an honor. I mean, I uh -huh. think Speaking of Shakespeare, I feel like this language and these characters are very uninhibited and mm -hmm. like they're outrageous and extreme and not like outrageous in a judgmental way, but just they are experiencing like the depths of every emotion. Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like that's, I'd be like that, you know, in <laughs> real life. And so I feel so honored to, um, you know, experience that range of emotions in one um, sitting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and to, I feel like it represents myself and what I go through in real life. And you? I definitely feel like it's an honor, it's a privilege. Um, I think that it's also a, a window into our secret world, if mm -hmm. you will. Mm -hmm. Like I think that so many times we feel as though we have to present ourselves in certain ways to to the um, world at large. And I think- We as black women. We as black women. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it's, um, it is just a privilege and an honor, again, to be able to see us in our element. Mm -hmm. And the joy, the, the joy that just comes from being a black woman and being with your, your sisters, although there are a lot of painful subject matters, mm -hmm. um, I think that you really see the resilience mm -hmm. of black sisterhood and of mm -hmm. black women. And um, the, being able to present that is, is And is how, an how black women talk, act, share when other people aren't watching. Exactly. Yes. That okay. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I got absolutely. it. I got it. Now, there are some adult themes in the show, uh, including drug use, sexual content, strong language. You know, why were these important to include uh, in the presentation? To make it more real, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think you said it best because I'm yeah. thinking about like how um, black women are often represented and um, I think that there's not often a lot of space given to black women to, um, I don't, to be fully who they are, um, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. to, I think that there is a narrative that many black women push of like being resilient and strong and holding everything together and I think this is not them holding everything together, maybe they're trying to and piece back things together, but mm -hmm. It, you know, like we're really falling apart um, at the seams, you know, mm -hmm. and helping each other rebuild our mm -hmm. who we are and our identities. Mm -hmm. um, and I think strong language, drug use, all that is a part of that mm -hmm. journey of like rebuilding mm -hmm. the identity. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the strong language is, is an expression of the frustration that mm -hmm. the characters feel, Absolutely. which is real. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I think that for my character in particular, because 
my character um, is the one out of the three that has a corporate job mm -hmm. and um, was really groomed to have that. To um, She grew up in Los Angeles, but um, has moved to New York and was groomed by her parents who um, worked really hard and were able to give her some things. She comes from a, a wealthy upbringing. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I think for her, you see kind of that juxtaposition of um, have growing up with a lot of expectations, growing up in a world where mm -hmm. um, your parents are really pushing you in a, a particular um, on a particular path, but then the struggle to just be yourself mm -hmm. and to be a fully realized, fully actualized human being, um, which we don't always get the opportunity to do. So you see my character having to be her corporate self, mm -hmm. but then you see my character with her girls, mm -hmm. drinking, twerking, and doing all the things <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you know, that this generation of young women do. So she's, and, and you see the, the, the code switching. Code that, switching, that Yes. happens um, yes it, yes because that corporate person is very defined absolutely in, in a box absolutely right absolutely she's a my character um, has a degree in mathematics and she likes to talk about that a lot and so you see her um, representing that and her her new she just I don't want to give too much away but she got a, a new job and she's very proud of this corporate job um, but also she has these other struggles in the struggles of who she has to be um, for the world versus who she is with her girls okay so uh, Tamika um you grew up in Roxbury, Chanel, you graduated from the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley's Contemporary Theater Program. Um, and your co-star Kelsey is a local graduate as well. Why was it important for you to um, stage this here in Boston? Um, well, I grew up in Boston and I have recently been going up to every black woman on the street, like, you got to see the show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even if I don't know them, but if they're in my age range, I'm like, you have to see the show. Like, it's about us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I have black woman friends. And so I feel like um, just for the audience sake um, and the people who are able to see the show, having Boston residents represented on stage that have a network in Boston makes black people come to the theater mm -hmm. and see themselves on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I think that was important for it to mm -hmm. be staged in Boston. Yeah. yeah, I definitely, I agree with you, Chanel. Um, I know for myself, I didn't go to college here. I went to college in, um, in Virginia. I went to historically black college, Hampton University. And one of the questions that I always got was, there are black people in Boston. <laughs> and, and so I think that for that reason, it's important to, because we, we, we are here and we have a story. And I think that sometimes you don't always see the fullness of, of our story here and, and the joy, yeah. because there, there is joy and there's a, a deep and a rich history of black people here in Boston. And um, we've contributed so much. And so I think that it's important for that reason for us to see ourselves on stage, for the world to see us on stage and to see us represented with people, with black women okay. from Boston. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing the show. Thank yes. you. Okay, Tamika and Chanel, thank you for being here. Thank you. It's called thank Blacks. You. It's at the Calderwood Pavilion. <laughs> and to all of you, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CityLine5. And you can follow me on Twitter at Karen's Holmes Ward. Have a great afternoon. Be well and stay safe.